Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today we're going to talk to you about a particular soft plastic. The reason being we've been getting some fantastic feedback from anglers that are new to soft plastics fishing or they haven't been doing well. They've got onto this plastic and they're catching fish. So it's awesome to talk to you guys out and about who are saying, man, since I've got that, I've been smashing it. So what plastic is it? It's this little bloke. It's a two and a half inch Z-Man Slim Swims. So 10 times tough being Z-Man, also buoyant, so you can get that tail up action that attracts fish and triggers strikes. But the key thing with this plastic is it's bite size. The fish that we've been catching on it have been crazy. So uh, I recently got an 80 centimeter flathead on it. We've got 60 centimeter snapper. There's been barra, jacks, golden trevally, all sorts of things eating this little plastic, as well as the redfin, trout, brim, and other species that you would expect to eat a two and a half inch plastic. So probably the main key to this plastic is its tail design. So the material is super soft and flexible, which is fantastic. And that underhooked tail really gets a lot of swimming action, a lot of realistic action on the sink and also on the retrieve with this little plastic. So it's loaded with action for such a bite-sized snack. And you know, sometimes those fish are just zoned in on tiny bait, notoriously hard species to catch on lures like giant herring and tarpon and, and some of those species that just get zoned on little bait. This has been deadly in catching those, but it's been deadly fresh and salt, won a lot of bass tournaments, caught a lot of different species. So today I want to tell you a few different tips and techniques for using it and also look at a few different ways we can rig it because this could be the game changer for you in terms of your soft plastics fishing. So firstly, rigged on a standard jig head. So I rig it on a headlocks finesse jig head, so it's a fine wire gamakatsu hook. So for me, that's all about penetration on light lines and with light drag settings. So I fish it on that fine wire hook. If you're new to soft plastics fishing or you're just not confident enough to fish that finer wire hook, you wanna fish a bit more heavy, then look at that Headlocks HD hook, which is a heavy duty wire on that hook. So you can fish it a bit more brutally without worrying about bending hooks or anything like that. So that's rigged on a standard jig head. I rig it on a 1.0 hook and it fishes really well on a 1.0. Still leaves plenty of free plastic at the back of that hook to give it plenty of tail action with that 1.0. And no problem pinning brim and that sort of thing on a 1.0 as well. So on a 1.0 hook, what weight do you fish? Depends on what you're, what you're doing and where you're fishing. If you're fishing extremely shallow or high in the water column, around pontoons, uh, along the edge of rock walls and things, you might want to fish it on a 1 16th or a 1 12th ounce. For me, I generally fish it on a 1 6th in really shallow water, and I fish it on a quarter ounce a lot of the time, rolling the flats in 1.2 to 1.5 meters of water. So if you haven't caught a fish on a plastic or you want to catch more fish on a plastics, go out, have a look on the flats, find yourself 1.2 to 1.5 meters of water, quarter ounce 1 0 headlocks finesse with a two and a half inch slim swims. Just throw long casts and roll it above the bottom, above the weed or above the sand, and you will come across a stack of different species. So that's a dynamite way to start fishing that two and a half inch slim swims. Another way you can rig it is on that demons. So that's for fishing that similar sort of slow rolling or hopping presentation or, or a burn and kill presentation fish it on that standard style of jig head. The Demons is just a great way to color match your plastic to make it look more natural or to put in a different colored plastic with that jig head and really make it pop. So that's fishing it standard. I also fish it on a Nedlocks jig head. So that's our Ned rig style of fishing, which is a mushroom head. It's a US finesse technique. And basically that causes the plastic to stand upright very quickly and it's aided by that buoyancy of the Z-Man. So we can swim this plastic, being a paddle tail, I can swim it over the top of the weed. When I get to those sandy pockets in the weed, I just stop it and it'll drop straight down in along that weed edge. And then I fish it, the way I fish it, I call it pop it and stop it. So basically where I'm, with the normal head, I'm swimming it or gliding it longer distances when I move it. With the Ned Locks, I'm popping it. So I'm giving it a one little pop or giving it a few shakes which gets it hinging up and moving and then it basically drops straight back down again. So I can cover a small area with a lot of action stops and starts. Whereas if I'm using it on a standard head, a couple of hops and I'm probably halfway across that open, that open area in the weed. So this allows me to fish it slower, shake it, hop it, pop it and stop it and leave it in there and let the fish eat it. 
So that's that Ned Locks jig head fishing at Ned Rig style. So it'll stand up, we hop it, stands up again, and we can keep it in that strike zone. So recently fishing shallow pockets, popping the pockets in the weed of an 80 centimetre flathead eight, this, this little tiny plastic in that motor oil colour. So favourites for me, motor oil, midnight oil are awesome. Uh, most of the time, flats, dirty water, weedy areas. Don't forget to throw up a clearer, more natural bait fish profile in your kit as well though, in case you find really, really clear water. Something like that bad shad excels when you get into that clear water, fisher eating white bait and that sort of thing. So deadly on everything. So that is rigged on a Nedlocks, and then also a great plastic rig weedless. So you look at that plastic on there and you might think, well, oh, gee, there's not much plastic there to be rigging it weedless, but with that loads of paddle tail action, it still gets a lot of movement up on that weedless jig head. And also with that hinged head on there, it stands up dead straight. So you can shake it, move it a little bit, and it'll do that stand up still that attracts the fish and triggers those strikes. So with this plastic rig weedless, I generally rig it on a number two, Snake Locks Finesse. And you can get that up to a one sixth. So one sixth is pretty good for fishing your shallow flats and drains for flatties. And that has recently accounted for, I've got a 70 centimetre and a 71 centimetre flathead fishing the drains and that with this little plastic rig weed just like that. So very, very versatile. So there's just a few ways you can fish that Slim Swims. Check it out. Colour wise, I generally carry, my theory is carry a darker, more silhouette colour for the dirty water conditions and, and when fishing around weed, I like a clear natural colour like bad shad for when I'm fishing that clear water, you, you really, the visibility is really high. So the fish are looking for something really natural. And if neither of those are catching, I'll fish a pink glow or a fluoro color just for that popping standout sort of color. So if you had those three, a dark color, a lighter, more natural color and a fluoro color in your kit, in that deadly little two and a half inch slim swims, you're pretty well covered. So get it out there, hop it, roll it, pause it, run it through all different sorts of countries, swim it above the sand, swim it above the weed, and hang on because you'll be getting stuck into a few.